Hi everybody and welcome back to some more Dirt Rally 2.0. Now we're just about to jump into another championship in this Rallycross career, but this time we're jumping into the one of the RX supercars. Yes, I've just bought one. I bought the Renault Megane Sport and this car is going to be so quick. 600 brake horsepower. Now it needs a lot, a lot of upgrading and we're going to have to do that throughout the championships. This is going to be a first experience because mainly all the rallycross I've done so far has been in the 1600s, which are nowhere near as quick as these. This is also a four-wheel drive car, a lot of power. It's going to be a lot harder to win these races, so let's get straight into it around this French circuit. So here we go. Right, so here we go with our first experience in the Megane. In the first qualifier, this car is going to be rapid, 600 brake horsepower. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be a really good first experience. So let's see if we can get a decent start. I'm going to go with cockpit cam for this first experience today. So let's rev the engine and accelerate. Oh, a bit delayed there, but bloody hell, it accelerates quick. And just try and get into that first turn got to be careful we don't smash the car up too much oh my god because we have got no credits left after buying this vehicle and oh god got straight into the side of that one get out of the way coming through oh my god the power of this car I'm all over the place it is sliding around I'm gonna have to be a little bit better on the accelerator oh I'm really struggling to put the power down I thought uh, this would be a lot harder and again oh they're sliding all over the place this is a totally different experience. I mean, I've driven quite a few four-wheel drive cars on this game, but in the Rallycross, it's a totally different ball game. Oh my God, again, just slide it around the turn, just trying to put the power down. But let's see if we can just catch up. Oh my dear Lord, got into there a little bit too fast, but we've managed to turn it. We might as well go down the Joker and see if, oh my God, what an overtake that was. See you later. But uh, we've got a car on our left-hand side that's just come past. We've got one right beside us. He's going to force us out. Oh, a bit of a contact there. He's just stopping us from getting past. Let's see if we can just accelerate. Oh, they're struggling with the power as well. Get out of the way, this bloody Subaru. Let's try and go up the inside. No, blocking me off. God, this car sounds good. Right, so let's see if we can go on the inside. Slide it. Oh, side slam. <laughs> well... There's me talking about not damaging the car and I'll do something like that. And we are sitting in second place. Oh dear, we've only got one more lap to go, so we need to try and get past this one in front. Um, but uh, I knew the RX supercars would be really, really good fun. Oh god, dear, when we get to, to some of the circuits in the wet in this car, it's going to be extreme. Right, let's see if we can get past this one. These Subaru seem to be pretty quick. There was quite a few in this race. Right, we take the inside. What can we turn it? No, we can't. And he's right beside us in the inside. And oh, he's blocked us off. Can we go in the inside here? Oh no, we've hit the side. Oh, I've lost the rear. Oh my dear lord, almost lost it completely. And let's see if we can get him on the last couple of corners. I don't think we are. And we're going to come second in this first race. Oh, I knew this was going to be difficult, but I didn't realise it'd be that difficult. Well, there you go. We only finished second. And we've got to remember the times count in this championship as well. So we come second, so we're not going to be that far up. Hopefully we don't drop too many points because we were about second behind the leader. Please put us in. Oh, 10th. Mm, not the greatest, but um, oh, the Audi S1's up the top, so they must be quick. Anyway, let's get into the second qualifier. So here we go. Right, so here we go with the second qualifier, and luckily we didn't sustain uh, too much damage in that first race, so we're not going to have any performance problems in this one. So let's see if we can get a decent start, and uh, try and win this one. We need to start well, and accelerate. Oh, that was a much better start. And again, we've been beaten off the line by the Subaru, and he's got in front of us, but let's just stick with him. Let's see if we can some quicker laps in so we did a two minutes and 24 let's see if we can beat that time slightly around that first turn can we get into the joker oh that worked nicely i will take that i always worry about doing doing that on this circuit that you don't get uh, smacked into the side and oh god dear that subaru has managed to get past really quickly and he is in the lead again let's see if we can catch him on this lap We've jokered and we're the only one that has, so that's always a good thing. Really struggling to put the power down around some of these turns. It's going to take a, quite a few races just to get used to the handling of the vehicle. 
and uh, hopefully we can do that in this championship. Oh, he's jokered. Right, let's see if we can get past him. We need to get around here as quick as possible. Keep it steady. Just feeling like this. the steering goes really, really light through there. It's nicely done, and we are in the lead for the first time. Let's see if we can hold that nice turn there. And also a 33 second lap. Oh my god, these are quicker than the, than the other cars that we were racing around here. So good. Absolutely love it. I'm glad I bought this car, but it cost me nearly 300,000 credits. So, yep, that's the reason why I haven't got many left. But if we can get some credits in this championship. Oh my god, I lost the front. Oh my dear lord, how easy is that to lose? Luckily we didn't lose too much, just managed to get back. And we've got problems now because this car is going to keep on trying to get past. Right, so we've got one more lap. Can we hold on to this? And the back end of my car is hanging off. And that is going to be major problems for the next race. Because like I said, I haven't got any credits and I've almost lost the front again. Oh, don't give him opportunity to get past. And I'm looking in my rear view mirror and he's not far behind us. So, well, I definitely can't see looking behind us with that uh, back of the car hanging off back door might fall off in a minute hopefully uh, smash into his windscreen and then he will lose control and we go and win the race as we just lose the front and hold it hold it and we're going to take our first win oh two seconds quicker than the previous race as well hopefully that will put us in a decent position because we don't want to drop too many points but uh, yeah that is difficult that is not easy made quite a few mistakes oh we're up to sixth Get in there slowly, and oh, the Ford Fiesta won the one that got the fastest time in that round. Right, let's go into the next one. Right, so here we go with the third qualifier, and now we're in a bit of trouble. We've got some damage to the vehicle, not just the bodywork, and we haven't been able to repair anything. Look at it, it is battered and bruised, but hopefully it won't affect us too much. Let's see if we can get a decent start. We can't afford to get smashed around too much. Otherwise, we could end up losing this qualifier because our car will be just no use. Because don't forget, you can get punctures. You can get all sorts of things happening in this running cross if you sustain too much damage. And we're getting bashed around. I think the other drivers know it as well. Let's try and hold it in that inside. And that worked out nice, nicely. And we go down the joker first. Don't smash that windscreen up too much. And I think we have got some performance issues as well. Uh, the steering feels a little bit odd. Hopefully that won't affect us too much. Just gonna try and stay away from trouble, but it's so difficult. And we've been rear-ended. Wow. Oh, wow. He went straight into the back. And again, my car feels really, really dodgy. This is not going well. I think I've got a little bit of credits. I think I've got about... Uh, 2,000 credits. That's not going to fix much, but it might fix something. I'm going to have to use it. I didn't want to use it in this round, just in case something major happens and we get to the final rounds. We might be able to fix something just to get us into the next race, but the uh, car doesn't feel great. I think I had problems with the radiator bodywork. Uh, something that was a wheel issue, but it was only minor. But uh, if it gets any worse, we could really, really be in big trouble. I'm just trying to hold it around there. And this has been a good round so far. Now we've just managed to pull away. And coming towards the final lap. And we start to get used to the car now, which is good. You can't put your foot down really hard around some of these corners. It just spins up. It just grips too much sometimes. Again, to see what I mean, you just, you've got to really back off once you feel the grip and then slowly put your foot down but um, I think over the uh, next couple of championships I will get used to the car we'll be able to upgrade a few things we might have to tweak the setup again almost losing the front there but uh, this is so much more fun than the other cars because they're so much quicker and we're going to take another win here and this has been a really really good round this should be a good time and over the finish line oh 219 so even quicker so that is positive, but I think we might have to spend some of those remaining credits we've got because we're in big, big trouble at the moment. Oh, we got second fastest time. So it's the Ford Fiesta Rallycross that seems to be getting the top times at the moment. Right, let's get into the fourth qualifier. So here we go. 
Right, so here we go with the fourth qualifier, and I just managed to fix the radiator with the remaining credit. So that is me out. I've got nothing left. So, but look at the car. It looks absolutely battered to bits. But as long as it keeps on going, we should be okay. And we really need to get a good result here. So let's see if we can get another decent start. And hold it into that first corner. Don't you dare run me off the circuit. That's nicely done. And we managed to hold that. So we've got a really good start. To get used to the power of the car, just got the curb there, but uh, we will not got the Joker just yet. We weren't in the right position to take it. Has anyone Jokered? I don't think they have. We've got to make use of being in front, slide it round. But I must admit, um, what I experienced uh, on the first dirt rally in the rally cross in these sort of cars, uh, these are so much more improved. I can feel a lot more. Uh, the Fox feedback's pretty decent, it sounds better. I'm just really impressed. I mean, I've loved this game from the moment I bought it. And again, just losing it. Oh, so, just so much more power to deal with. Let's try and hold it. Still got the lead. If we can get some quick laps in here, that should help. Should, should be a really, really tough semi-final final. And it's only going to get harder. Oh my God, it's been cutting corners now. Uh, that was a 34 second lap, so it's not the quickest we've done it previously. I think we've done 33 seconds, it's the quickest we've done so far, I think. Let's see if we can get a decent lap in here. Just managing to maintain. Really struggle with that turn. Still don't think that. Oh, seriously, I thought I was going to be able to turn it then. And again, yeah, there's something wrong with the steering on my car. That is not a good sign. It's, if Thomas turning, turning the steering wheel, it really feels like it's very delayed. I knew I was going to get some performance issues at some point and it's not going to go down well because we've still got another two races possibly left and we've dropped a place here. We need to attack this car if we can. Let's just try and keep up with him and just try and manage this steering problem and go on the inside. Oh, we've got into there too quick. He's going to re-overtake. Oh, and we've managed just to hold that and we've taken it back off him but he's going to come back at us he's right beside us he's going to try and take the inside let's just try and hold it around there oh this car feels really awkward to steer at the moment but we're just managing to hold on to it final corner don't lose it get a grip and over the finish line now i don't think that yeah that wasn't a very quick quick run but bloody hell what are we going to do now we've got steering issues and uh, we've got a semi-final and a final still to go into and oh, so we got the second fastest time in that run, so that wasn't too bad. Uh, and we've qualified in fourth, so we're sitting fourth in the leaderboard. Oh, are we going to be able to make up the points to win it? I really, really don't know. Well, anyway, let's get into the semi final. So here we go. Right, so here we go into the semi final, and we have got some major issues with the car. I think one really, really bad smash up, and it could be race over. So. It's going to be an interesting one. I'm just going to have to manage the car the best I can. Look at it. It really is bad and bruised. But uh, let's see if we can get away. So this is six laps now. Let's see if we can get a decent start. And we are away. That's not a bad start. It's that first turn. Try and avoid any major contacts. And, uh, yes, that's nicely done. This is where they're going to run into me. Hold it. That was nicely done around that turn. Decided not to joke on the first lap because we've got six laps. We might as well manage it a little bit better. It's all about trying to get into the final and not get completely wrecked in this race. Now, I have seen other people's um, running cross careers where they've actually got so smashed up they've had to um, just obviously not be able to carry on. So hopefully that doesn't happen, but you can never tell. It might be because of my driving, or it could be the AI decide to wreck my race. And that was nice to turn there. The time to turn it into the Joker. Get through here, okay. Let's see if we can just come out at least in second. Yes, we're in second. Plenty of laps to go. And the car in front hasn't Jokered, so he's the only one that hasn't. So that should work out quite nicely in our favour. Up with him. So the Ford seems to be a pretty quick car in the uh, RX supercars. 
So, we're definitely going to have to purchase one of them at some point. Uh, I don't know why I went with the Renault. I just thought I'd do something different, looking at uh, some other walkthroughs I've watched. So, not many people have purchased this car. So, I thought I'd try this one instead. It's not too bad. It's quite nice. And nicely done. And we should be able to settle into a rhythm. And that was a decent lap as well. Still got quite a few laps to go. Hopefully we can get into the final. And hold it. It's nicely done. Run away through here. Still got a car behind us. Hopefully we can sort of like kick up as much dirt and dust as we can so they can't see a damn thing. and that's another decent lap so we're starting to put decent laps in considering our car is pretty in well it's, it's falling to, to bits so lucky we were able to carry on oh, again just struggling to turn it in that corner let's see if we can just hold on to it through here this is where we spun it a couple of times Getting used to delivering power around there, just uh, feathering the uh, accelerator around there, again another decent lap, this is a really really good run, this is what we needed, another 33 second and I've caught the grab on the edge, oh and we've been shunted, oh damn that's not going to go down well, oh seriously that was my own fault, I completely lost the rear and the uh, car behind could have overtaken me but he didn't and again I think we've got some more damage to the car, doesn't feel good at all back end of the car is hanging off again and just keep it steady through here don't ruin it now let's just get to the end and get self in the final and he's right behind us as well last corner and over the finish line oh you can breathe right that should get us in the final but what damage have we sustained because it's on I think it was almost on critical last time I looked uh, on a few things. The bodywork I'm not so fussed about, but everything else. Oh, we got the far, oh, almost the fast time. Second fastest as well. Right, so we go into the final. Can we win the final? This is going to be very interesting. Right, so we are in the final. Yeah, we had to get the sticky tape out and the glue just to put the car back together, but we are here and that's all that matters. We can't afford to sustain too much damage in this race, otherwise we will not finish. So let's see if we can get a decent start. And uh, hopefully we can build on that. And we are all go. Let's go. Get into that first corner. Don't get spun out. And just a little bit of a tap there. Just forcing us. But we're in the inside. So let's hold it. And we've got to apply some decent tactics. If we can get into the joker. For the first lap. Get in the inside. Get it turned in. Get it turned in without anyone running into us. Oh, just got away with that one. Right. So let's see if we can come out in front of these cars. I don't think we will because they're going to be a lot quicker in this final. So we've got two cars to our left. Let's just try and get in behind them. Oh, three cars. All right, let's just try and stick behind these three. And, oh, he slid, and I've ran straight into him. Oh, that is not good. And I think he ran into the other car as well. And we've managed to get into second, but we sustained some more damage. I don't think we can have any more. Any more, and our car is literally going to fall apart. Hold it. Uh, the car in front hasn't jokered yet so let's just try and calm down we don't need to force this if we can just be within touch and distance when he jokers then we can overtake him and hopefully we don't have any trouble from any of the cars behind just, just stick in behind and I think the car in front I think he's the guy oh, get off the gravel that's been setting the fastest times so let's try and stick with his pace uh, this has been a really good championship. I've enjoyed this. I, I wish I'd got jumped into these cars sooner. This is uh, just on another level. Right, let's just try and hold it through here. Can't afford any mistakes. Keep it steady through there, backing off. Sliding around a bit. Just trying to hold it. Going into lap four. Is he gonna, when is he going to joker? Is he going to joker on this lap? I think he's going to leave it to the last lap. So we're going to have to be right up his backside when he goes down that joker. Let's try and slow it down. Get past him here. No, he's not going to joker. He's going to go on another lap. 
And he's losing that rear. He's really struggling to put the power down as well. So sticking behind him. Let's wait for him to make a mistake if that happens. And that's not a bad lap as well. Across the finish line. So we're about a second off the pace we were setting in the last race. Just want to hold it. And he's actually slowing us down. We were hitting 33s. Can we take the inside? And overtake him already. That's nicely done. Is he going to joker? No, he's going to joke on the final lap and we're in the lead. This is going to really, really play in our favour. Got to just try and hold it though. Is he going to make an attack? He's going to try and get past here. No, we've managed to hold it. Let's keep it nice and tight. Almost lost the rear there. But just managed to hold on to it. And that was, I see, a 33 second lap. So he was definitely holding us up on the final lap. And he still has to joke us. So we are in a very, very good position here. Let's just not muck it up. God, went around there a little bit too fast, but held it nicely. Now he's jokered. And he's going to come out in a second. No, he hasn't got through that joker quick enough. And we've got two more corners. And we're going to take the championship win. But is this result going to be enough to take the overall championship win? Well, we're just about to find out. And there we go. We got to the end in one bit. One piece, shall I say, one bit. <laughs> and uh, hopefully that should be enough to take the win. So that wasn't like the quickest race, but we did enough. And yes, we do, two points. Wow. So the two Audi S1s were the ones sitting in second and third. Right, let's get into the final standings. Right, so we take our first championship win in the RX Supercars, and that was so much fun. And uh, I think if it rains in the next championship, we're going to really, really struggle in these cars because of the power. And we've got 61,000 credits, and I think it's going to take that much to repair the car. There's so many things damaged on it. And we've got, oh, engine mapping too, so we can upgrade the car as well. But we're going to have to be careful because we're going to need a lot of credits. We're going to have to do some other races, I think, to build up the credits so we can upgrade the car. But uh, that is the next championship coming. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.